In this COVID crisis, hospitals are no go zones in many places, only allowing the sick doctors and nurses. East Tennessee Children's Hospitals and cameras there allowed us to see inside and look at how they're caring for patients. When you come into the building, the first thing that you're going to notice is that we're all going to be wearing things. So not doing it now for the interview, but of course we have our masks that we wear you know, at all times throughout the building. In addition to our eye protection, that'll of course look different. And that's something that probably is a good thing to prep patients who are coming, especially the younger ones, that, that this is what you're going to see and it's, you know, to keep everybody safe. Um, you're also going to see that we're going to have screeners at all of the doors. So when people come in, you're going to be asked about any symptoms. And again, we're going to keep visitors down to the bare minimum that would be required to be able to keep everybody safe. The Children's Hospital Urgent Cares um, are doing all the same things that we're doing at the hospital as far as their personal protective equipment, making sure it's a safe environment, their cleaning practices, making sure that they're doing everything as safely as possible. Social distancing is a great thing. It is helping us out a bunch. There are still things that you need to go places for, and of course the emergency department is unfortunately one of those. So just be confident that we have taken all the steps that we can do to make sure that this is a safe location um, for, for anybody to come, whether that be illness related or injury related. And certainly the same criteria kind of applies, you know, before this all happened as far as the reasons to come to an emergency department. Certainly any trouble breathing, any trouble with hydration, injuries that involves, you know, cuts, lacerations, things that you think might be broken. Um, all of those things are still legitimate reasons to come to the emergency department. Our volumes have been down, which is really one of the interesting things about this pandemic is that this disease does not, has not been affecting kids as much as things typically do. In fact, most of our disaster and pandemic preparation is geared towards knowing that kids will usually suffer the worst consequences. This appears to be different for reasons that we're not entirely sure of right now, but it certainly has made it to where um, that with social distancing and kids not being in school and other infectious diseases going down because of the precautions that we're taking for COVID, that it has been pretty quiet around here lately, but uh, but that's something that's, you know, we would, we would rather have that than, um, than be overrun. Um, the important thing I think that parents need to know is that there's a, that to keep talking about the positive aspects of this, the fact that, that, you know, kids are going to be safe, they're going to be healthy with this, that they are not in danger from what we've seen and that all that we're doing is to protect the people in our population who would be more vulnerable. And that's a good thing, that's a positive thing. And as long as we keep stressing that, that we're all doing this as a, as a group exercise to make sure that people are safe, um, you know, it really brings out a lot of the, the positives in our community. Again, that video to us, courtesy Children's Hospital, and doctors are emphasizing their top priority remains the safety of both patients and staff. Coming up on 10 News at 5,